What is going on everybody? Thanks again for stopping on by. If you could just like, subscribe the video and I'll put out some more content, hopefully better content, and hopefully you guys will actually enjoy it. And without further ado, let's uh, kick this thing off. So what's going on everybody? So I wanted to make a video real quick, not just talking about a specific week or any material or anything, but more so addressing the newer people that are coming in. So yesterday during our stand-up meeting with my group, our PM asked us uh, a pretty good question. He asked us, okay, what kind of information or uh, advice would you give any newer students coming in? Now that we've been here for a while, we're almost uh, all the way through the full stack. Uh, what would we tell them? And so that got me thinking and I heard some pretty great responses from other people in my cohort And so I'm gonna try to grab that uh, As well as what I said and ball that in together and maybe give you guys uh, Feedback from some people who've been around my personal feedback is understand that imposter syndrome is a natural thing and it's going to happen doesn't matter how good you are everybody has days even weeks where they're feeling it and it's very natural honestly uh for me i had two weeks that were like that first week was i, I want to say during the prototypal inheritance i still get kind of just messed up you know whenever dealing with uh functional components and stuff like that i still get messed up by that a little bit and when dealing with redux so Redux is very, to me, it's still complex. Like I understand the concept. I understand what everything is doing now. I really do. It's more so the boilerplating. And you know, at the time while you're going through the material, you kind of feel like you have to memorize all of the syntax, all of the boilerplating. You have to memorize everything. And that is not the case. A lot of times the only thing you need to memorize is the concept of it. You need to understand what something is doing, why is it doing that, when it goes from here to here, why why is it even doing that at all, and how to call it. You don't need to memorize the entire syntax. The reason being is you can always just go back to the documentation or you can go back to a previous project and just look at that and kind of just copy it over and do whatever you need to do from there. As long as you understand the concept of it, then you can make your changes and do what you need to do in the end. You, it's very easy to get overwhelmed when you don't feel like you're understanding something. So my advice is just understand that a lot of times you're gonna feel like you have the imposter syndrome, like you don't really deserve to be there, your uh, work isn't good enough, um, you're not getting the material, and I'd say just stick with it, you know? Uh, just keep going. Don't blame the system. If you do have feedback, by all means, provide that feedback because a lot of times they are willing to, to listen to it and take that feedback. At the end of each course, uh, you'll usually have your instructor. They'll have some form of a live video, kind of like a last hurrah with, with the cohort before they send you off to the next instructor. And you know, that's your chance to tell them openly, hey, this is what I thought. You know, I, I wish you would have gone over this better or in more details or given us more time for this. And, you know, they'll take that, go back to their uh, to their groups and their project managers and everything and go over all that and take your feedback. With that said, you know, understand that some weeks are meant to be rough. No matter what you do, they're just meant to be rough. They're supposed to make you feel a little bit of pain. And some weeks are gonna be really easy. They're meant to kind of give you that good reward system, that attaboy when you complete it. You're able to get all the you're able to get all the MVPs and stretch and sprint done in a timely manner so you feel comfortable. Do not let that own you. <laughs> you know what I mean by that is don't let like yourself kind of get too overconfident with that material understand that it's supposed to be like that because they don't want you to get beaten up the entire time and just feel like you can't do absolutely anything and so they do have some days and weeks like that that everything just goes perfect and you know all the materials presented perfectly and you're able to complete everything really fast if you complete everything really fast do the stretch and then once you're done with that go and look at the material for the next day you know and try to get ahead of the material do not let the material just pop up on you just because they're going to teach it to you you know there's a big difference a lot of times they'll have a lot of stuff in the training kit that is in there and they expect you to go over that 
if you don't go over that, they're still gonna cover it, but they kind of kind of fly right through it, and you may not understand it. A lot of people in in my uh, group said that the days where they felt like they were a lot more comfortable with the material that was being taught were the days that they decided to go through the training kit and actually uh, follow along, uh, do the miniature projects. Uh, all of that stuff prior to the actual class. And they're required, but they're not 100% required. Uh, they're not really strict about it, but it's highly recommended that you do that. And then uh, the other thing is make sure that you are involved in the Slack channel. Talk to other cohort mates, uh, talk to people in other groups, talk to people in your group. You know, try to build some type of cohesion because you are spending a lot of time pretty much in your chair watching lectures and coding and stuff and it's a very very lonely lifestyle unless you have somebody that's revolving around behind you you're pretty much going to be here a lot of your time i mean that's crazy schedule where you're sitting behind a computer screen the entire time with nobody to talk to so uh in order to get that filling out a little bit you know i suggest that you do uh talk to other people in the slack as much as possible not just about code or helping or this and that just general conversation because these are the people that you're going to be spending the next seven months to a year with maybe even longer if you decide to become a pm or something but these are the people that you're going to be spending a lot of time with uh these are the people that are going to be uh talking about new articles, new tech, uh, new things that you might be interested in, video games, movies, you know, they talk about a little bit, a little bit about everything. And so uh, get to know them. You can also do private Zooms and stuff like that. I've done one earlier where we did a Zoom where uh, we talked about a side project that we wanted to do because we had extra time. And so, you know, we got into a nice little group and uh, talked it out, planned it out and just took some time to do that and it was fun it was a good experience that's some other advice right there don't let yourself get overwhelmed um don't be afraid to provide feedback uh just don't be a jackass about it if you don't like an instructor for whatever reason hey that's fine because the training kit also has videos from other cohorts so you can watch the video from my cohort you can watch the video from the uh, part-time a lot of times they swap out instructors just understand that if you're not getting the material, it's not the end of the world. You can you can go through a lot of the training kit. You still also have Google, you have uh, Stack Overflow. You can ask a bunch of people and a lot of people in, in Lambda are willing to help. If you're struggling with React, there's a React channel in the Slack. You can go in there and be like, hey, I'm not understanding this because blah, 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 blah. Chances are you're gonna have somebody in there that might be able to answer your question, so. Don't feel completely lost before you've exhausted all avenues, all right? Um, and that's it, guys. If you have any questions or anything that you uh, want me to cover that I did not cover, feel free to let me know. I'm also on Twitter. I don't know, I don't know why, but I never tell anybody that. But <laughs> I'm also on Twitter, and I'll put my link down on uh, the description below so you guys want to follow me if, if you want to and I'll follow you back and I do tend to answer questions or whatever uh, down there I like to interact with people so uh, feel free to follow me if you want and I'll see you guys next time.